So wrapping text around a circle is very straightforward in Illustrator. So let's have a look at how we do something like this. Grab your ellipse tool. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag this out. So we create our simple ellipse here. Let's switch this then so that we have no fill and uh, a simple stroke around the edges. Once I have my circle drawn out, I'm going to come over to the type tool. And I'm going to select type on a path. Now I can click anywhere on this uh, path here and you will see that the text will appear. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to type text here. Okay, so we've got that there. Come to the direct selection tool and you'll start to see these two boxes appearing. Now these will control the kind of start and end point of the text. So if I drag my end point around to the center here, and then this one then is my start point, I click this over to the left, you'll start to see now that the text aligns between the start and the end point. So if I come in with my type tool and select this here, I can now apply whatever I want, any rules to it. I can also use the align tool to align left, right, or center, depending on what I'm trying to achieve. So the beauty of this here now, let's just use a, say, a font like Bevis New, nice kind of big, large, thick font. Um, I can bring up the size of the font, uh, said so I can align, and also I can use the character panel then to uh, you know change the uh, kerning and various other things as well. Then when I come to my direct selection, then you can see I've got the start handle and the end handle here. And I can adjust these with the direct selection tool once I see the uh, cursor change. So we've got our top texture. Let's have a look now how we do the bottom. So what I want to do, if I pull this over to the side, I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to create a duplicate. So I've got this one here. Now, what I want to do with this one You'll see this alignment line here. If I use the direct selection and I click and drag this in, now I bring this onto the inside, yeah? You can see I'm clicking and dragging. If I click out, I bring it back in. So I click in, click out as such. If I bring that in, let that go. So grab this here. So I bring that around there. And I can align this then to the center here and bring that around as such, click and drag. So once I'm happy with that there, last thing I want to do now, come back to the type tool and I can select this. If I press command A, select it all. I want to then go to my type, type on a path, type on a path options, uh, put your preview on. And if you come to this here, align on a path, I can now select where I want the text to align. So center, baseline, ascender or descender. So what you want to do is press ascender and then you get that on the outside then. Press OK. And then finally then, if I come to the character uh, toolbar here, I can use the, um, the baseline shift. If I bring that in, you can see then I can start to bring that in so that it's in line with the bottom of the line there. And then there you go. So I've got my two texts here. Now, last thing then, if I highlight these two, if I use my align tools, kind of bring those together as such. And then basically then I can kind of control the both of them using the type tool. So say I want to make this bigger. If I come to character, so I can make this bigger as such. I can do the same then down here. And I can then make the changes. So I, you know, if I want to bring the type in, I can use the various options available to me. Bring the kerning in and play around with 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 whatever I want there. So I now I've got my text that's uh, wrapped around the circle at the top, wrapped around the circle at the bottom. They're both two separate objects, so I can control them independently. And then what I can do then is I can bring in. You see, I've got my circle here. If I just make a copy of that, Command-C, Command-V, happy with that. I'll highlight these two, and I'll just change the color of this text to white, and then I'll bring this arrange center back, 
And then I can bring these then here and use the align tool then to align these um, as such. And you can say that, you know, maybe I want to make these uh, a little smaller. And then lastly, then I could add my uh, my center circle in here. And then the beauty of it is then once these are aligned, I can go back in then uh, with the type tool, command A, and change the uh, text. As I want. So there you have it. That's how you wrap text around a circle in Illustrator, both for the top and the bottom so that you can create circular logos, circular artwork, and anything that requires your text to be wrapped around on a curve uh, or a circular object. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you got what you needed from it. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time for the next tutorial.